Welcome to another video. This is Admas Kung Fu from SuperSQA.com. In this one, we're going to look at the feature file. We're just going to look at the features of the feature file, what it looks like and what it contains. Um, the feature file, the first thing you, you'll find there is the feature name. Uh, the feature name basically just describes what the, the feature has been tested or what the group of test cases it represents. Uh, so there will be a line that starts with the word feature. It has to be there. It will not run if you don't have a line that start with the word feature, feature and colon. There may be some things above feature like tags, which we haven't talked about yet, but we will. And some tags go on top of the feature. And also you can put comments on top of the feature, the feature. But all your tests have to go below the feature and there can only be one feature line in a file. Remember that it can only be one feature line. Then you have the scenarios, the scenario name, which means the test case. A scenario is basically a test case. It's the most, the simplest form of uh, testing. That's the one small scenario, but you can have, you can have multiple scenarios in a file. You're testing a feature. Let's say a feature will be a login and you have all the test cases for login under under the feature and each one of those would be scenarios and each scenario starts with the with the keyword scenario colon there is another thing called scenario outline we will get to it in a different lecture but just remember you need at least one scenario at least one but you can have multiple but then under the scenario there's the steps there's the given the when the then there's the end and but uh, we we will talk about end and but but end and but basically means they just represent the the last one. If you had a given, and the next line starts with an end or a but, then that means it's, it's, they just take a place of a given. If you have if the last one is a then, and the next line starts with an end, um, then it says then. It, it will just make sense to you when you when you see it. That's just really straightforward. Then the steps are the actual. Uh, steps the test is taking. Those are the actual things that are taking action, doing things, and uh, this is basically the bread and butter. And you're gonna see, uh, you're gonna see examples, of course. And there could be more information, but these are the bare minimum: uh, the feature name, scenario name, and steps. Those three key components have to be there. Otherwise, you don't have a test. And let's go ahead and look at a, an example, an actual uh, feature file. All right, so we are here in PyCharm, and I have two files uh, as a demo uh, ready to show you. So this is a very simple feature file. As you can see, the file name, I call this one feature underscore example underscore one scenario that feature. So, you know, you can name it anything. Uh, you don't have to start with, a, with the word test like most test frameworks do. You can just name it anything, but the file has to end with a dat feature. That's key. The file has to end with a dat feature. Then you have one line that has a keyword feature. It has feature and column in the feature name. Login with value credentials. So here, this is only one test case so it makes sense to have a name like that i'm the randomly just coming up with names here we're going to see more uh, realistic examples later on more um, practical examples but for most of the basic stuff i'm just going to use really random type of test cases then we have a scenario scenario colon user login successfully this is a scenario then we have the steps this is it these are the steps i don't know why i keep clicking the right click something wrong with my mouse actually um, but anyways, so we have given I create a new user when I type an email, when I type a password, when I click on login, then I should see the text welcome. This when's all can be replaced with an end. We're going to look at that in a different section. But so now we have the steps. Those are the steps here. We have one, two, three, four, five steps, a scenario and a feature. You, you can also have multiple scenarios. This is what I was telling you. You can only have one feature. This is another file. Feature example, multi scenario, that feature. Then you have the feature name, feature uh, column attempt to log in with an invalid credential. This would be so, this would be like all your positive test cases for the login, and this would be like all your negative test cases for the login. So, what, what, what's one scenario? Then existing user try to log in. Given I generate a random email address, 
it's a random email address when i type random email when i type correct password and i click on login then i should see the text error user now fine this is a negative test case right trying to log in with the wrong wrong uh, email then you have another scenario then you have another scenario you and you have another scenario and you can keep going you can keep going add more scenarios if you like you know don't go overboard but you use use logic so group group your test cases logically just like this these are all negative test cases trying to get in with no password uh, trying to use an inv invalid formatted email and trying to log in with the wrong password with the correct email but wrong password this type of things and the scenarios would have some tags like decorators but we'll see those in a different lecture because you know they're uh, uh, they're their own thing and they deserve some explanation so let's move on and look at the steps let's see how these things are connected to the python file what are these things doing and we're going to look like we're going to look at what the step definition these are the steps we're going to look at what the step definitions look like